everybody. Welcome to week eight of my countdown to Christmas. We're getting closer. I hope that you're busy making all the things that you need to make for this Christmas season. This week's project is a very easy one. I found these amazing lint chocolate bars at my local Target. They were only a dollar and they're very addicting. So I wanted to make a holder for them. I think they're so cute. All right, so the, all you need is the Naturals Composition DSP, and I cut it out with the largest labels framelit, and I'm going to score it just a little bit, and it doesn't matter how where you put this on your um, Simply Scored. I'm going to line it up at the five, but I'm going to score at just about a quarter of an inch over here. Actually, let me make sure I have it lined up correctly. That would help. All right, let's try that again. A quarter inch over here and not a quarter inch. That's an eighth of an inch. So an eighth of an inch on either side of the little points. Okay. So who's calling me right now? All right. So we've got an eighth of an inch on either side. All right. So now what I'm going to do is on here, I punched this with a tiny half inch circle punch. But when I came to make the video, I can find it. I have no idea where it is. So I'm just going to use a regular hole punch, which is fine. Hole's not quite as big and I don't like the way that looks. So I would definitely want to find my punch before I make any more. Now I have a piece about six inches of the crushed curry. This one I'm gonna make using crushed curry. This one I use cherry cobbler. And the reason I'm using crushed curry is because you can see that on my candy it's a yellow. And I'm gonna cut it just down the middle. I love this ribbon, but I also love how it looks when you cut it so that it's kind of frayed. All right, so about six inches of the crushed curry chevron ribbon. And I'm going to push this through here. And instead of tying it, I'm going to take a piece of the early espresso taffeta ribbon, one eight, eighth of an inch. I'm going to set this on here to hold it down. Let's see. I kind of need two hands for this. But we'll see if I can make it work. And I'm going to tie this around that ribbon. that, make a little bow. All right. Now the sentiment that I'm using is from the Christmas messages and I'm using the joyful tidings. I liked how it was kind of distressed there and I stamped it in crushed curry, punched it out with a two by one and three eighths oval punch. And I have a piece of, let's see, three quarters of an inch by one, two, three, four, four inches. You guys know me, I just cut, I don't measure. So four inches by three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna make a little flag here on the ends, okay? Like that. And all you need to do is attach that like that. Take a couple of dimensionals on the back here and add it right to the middle, done. Easy. This is uh, Season of Style DSP, the plaid. Now, I think that you could use this with any kind of candy bar, but I think that the people that you buy it for would really appreciate these yummy lint um, chocolate bars. All right, guys, it's a simple project for you this week. I hope you're enjoying it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.